Half of these cupcakes have never lost a parent, had a mentally ill mom, sister, or had to survive what you did. Don't let them bring you down. Keep your spirit high, and you're going to win. Thanks, man. I feel like I'm winning. I feel like I'm winning. I, I don't I don't feel like all the negativity. I mean, Gemini Mom moves in. She meant those are the three haters that come in here, and then there's like, like seven other women, too, that just bash on me and my wife. And we know why. We know why. It's so obvious to everyone. But... It's like, so it doesn't bring me down. It, it you know, I guess I, I, you see, you're right. I was raised, I was raised with the false hope that, that everyone is a good person. That, that, you know, a person like, like Gemini, who's just so nasty. I mean, you should see the stuff she writes. I mean, just foul, foul. I mean, if she's a mother, I can only imagine that her children must just be the nastiest speaking children. Because the stuff she writes to me on, on, on text, it was like obviously she gets banned on, on YouTube. She can't put it out there. But the stuff she sends me is ridiculous. Ridiculously foul. So she sends out all this negativity out there. But I just have this hope that someday I can get to her. And that maybe, maybe she will stop being just this negative force in the universe. I mean, there's so many messages to her. I mean I mean I mean, it's like, hello, do good things. Say nice things to me. Say nice things about my family. Be nice. Forgive people. Accept forgiveness. Apologize. Apologize for what you've done. Do do the things that that, that that need to be done that you know what need to be done, and watch how people how you get healthier, how you feel better, and how your life gets. That's what happened for me. That's exactly what happened for me. I'm just telling you my personal experience. Once I stopped hating, once I started being positive, started being a positive light in the universe, and started doing positive things like take care of my sister take care of my mom, being good to my wife, doing these things. Once that started happening, everything started clicking for me. But while I was negative for 10, 12, 15, 20 years, I was, I was just like you, Gemini. I was an Eeyore. I was just, everything came out of my mouth was negative. And man, was I foul. I mean, not as foul as you, but, but, but pretty nasty. I mean, you said some pretty bad things. I mean, it's like, I don't go there. But, 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 but the hate was still there. I mean, we're both angry people. So, I mean, you and she, man, if you guys can just get out and Claire, Claire, I, I, are you still here? I thought you had to go to work. What happened to that? Didn't Claire she had to say she had to go to this work that she had to go to? She was bragging about how she had this important job she had to do. Well, that was like an, over an hour ago. So, so how much time do you have in the day? I mean, you can do, you can work two jobs and then you can spend hours online with me and my family to bash me are you kidding me and really well claire you can't spell liar without claire how's that try <laughs> try to spell the word claire without using the word liar you can't do it i try it try to write the word claire without the word liar take it do it I'll wait. Take out the word liar out of Claire and, you, and write the word Claire. Exactly. Lies without Claire is nothing. She's nothing. She's just a C. Hey, did, what, look, are you guys having a hard time? I know, <laughs> Sam, I wanted to be a pro wrestler. How'd you know that? Oh. 
Oh, I'm, I'm reading all of Mark's comments. He knows it. It's called, guess what? Guess what, Minzan? I know you've never tried this before. But you can actually listen to people, and you don't have to have the last word. You don't have to respond to everything. You could just be, be quiet. But that takes skill. It takes education. It takes practice. And you have to know to do it. I mean, I don't think anybody's ever told you to shut up before. It sounds like I think I'm the first person that's ever told, told half these people to shut up. They, they come in here, they're so entitled. It's like, they're so shocked when, when, it's like, they live by themselves. Like this woman who says, I'm a spoiled brat. She's literally a divorced woman living by herself. Well, I can't think of a more spoiled brat than that. Collecting money from your ex-husband while you live by yourself. That's ridiculous to, to throw stones at me about my childhood, which by the way, my parents stayed together. My mom and dad stayed together. Even though it wasn't the best situation, they didn't bail because they married for love. Unlike Claire, you obviously married for money. That's why you don't have anybody. Or if you do have someone, you don't ever get to see them because you supposedly have these two fake jobs you're at. <laughs> oh, Moonzen, you hurt, I know. We can, try, we can try to make you a positive person. It's very unlikely it's going to happen. But, but maybe in your lifetime, Maybe something will sink in. Maybe you'll be like a castaway on a boat and like it'll just like you'll wake up from a daze and be like, shit, Jedi Rich said be positive. And you and you know, I'll try that. You start being positive, and next thing you know, the Coast Guard comes and rescues you. You're like, shit, Jedi Rich was right. And you know what? I'm not the only person that says that, Minzan and Gemini. Other people, that's not me. That's stuff I learned. And I'm passing it on to you and, and loud and clear, as loud as I can. To let you know that, that what you guys are doing and the way you're acting is a reason why you're suffering and your family's suffering and why you're alone. And your only friend is Moonzen and the other haters in the room, Ganjan, these other people that are just totally alone. Meanwhile, all of us that have a family and all, all you know, tr bonding together, we're trying to reach you, Moonzen and, and Gemini, and trying to be like, hey, wake up. Stop, stop being this negative. Stop being a Claire. Start being somebody positive. You know, you still got a chance. Yeah, well, the link is right there. Cut and paste it. I don't understand. Or send me an email and I'll email it to you. <coughs> We've done nothing wrong. You tell me, Moonsand, you've lied. First of all, you've lied. Just as, I mean, not even like once, but hundreds of times. Your goal was to smear me and my wife. And you went out of your way to make up shit about us. So you want me to correct my rights? Okay, come on. You got to send me an email. I'm waiting for it. If you can't click the link, I can click the link from here. If you can't click the link, then send me an email. I'll send it to your email. Or send me your, give me your phone number. I'll text it to you. Of course you won't email me or call me. You're too chicken. Right. He's like, never mind. Never mind. See, see, Moon's End literally lied. She's a, she's a bold-faced liar. And you know what? You know who's backing her? Look who's backing her. Liar Claire. Liar Claire. Spell, look, you cannot spell Claire McCollum without using the word liar because Claire is such a liar. And she backs up the other liar, Moon's End. Moon's End came in yesterday and said that Joy wanted me to work as a bartender in New York City. And that I refused. And she says that she has a video clip of it. Okay. Well, Joy was right here and she said, what the hell are you talking about? Secondly, how the hell can I get a job as a bartender at age 55 in New York City? New York City is like the mecca for bars. You just don't get jobs as a bartender in New York City unless you know someone or you're connected or you've been doing it. I'm 55 years old. You don't think they got 25-year-olds they could have hired? 
So your logic doesn't even make sense, liar. You're getting flustered? I bet you are, Claire. You've been alone. When was the last time you got any? I'll bet it's been years. I'd love to, I'd love to hook up with you. I could hook you up if you want to, but you're going to have to lighten up because your negative attitude is, is kind of a boner killer. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> you guys are like Bass and Joy's job. You can't even, you can't even do it with one guy. <laughs> I mean, just so you know, the negative energy, Moon's and Gemini, Claire, you guys send out. <laughs> not safe to send it. Not safe to send an email. She man, you're a genius. See, she man is continues to smear me because she can't stand it. Oh, here comes Kathy. The other junkie, she can't stand it. Kathy, where's your husband? Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Kathy, how many, how many husbands are you on now? Share with us. Three, right? You're on your, but, but you lost that one. Okay, so don't come in here casting stones at me. I've been married. I made one vow to God. That's right. Gemini, you popped out a bunch of kids and lied to God. You promised to God that you would stay with someone until death do you part. And you lied. <laughs> a vow is not something you ever break. I don't care what you... You can, you can justify it with divorce, but that's only been made legal since 1960. <laughs> the, before 1960, no one got divorced. It's a new law that they opened up for the sexual revolution. Didn't mean you had to do it. But if you did it, you lied to God. In a church. So you wonder why you're going to hell? You wonder why bad things are happening to you and your family? Well, look around. Think about it. You went out, you married someone, you made a promise to God in a church, to a priest or to a pastor, and to everybody you know. You said, I promise I will never leave this person till I die. Well, where is he now? Right, I'm here. <laughs> He's not. You're stuck with me. That's right. Hi. That's what happens when you lie to God. You end up with people like me. They call you out and they make you miserable and they make you feel like shit. And you have to, and you lie about it. They're all junkies. Exactly, Moon's in. Exactly. You're all junkies. You, you do too many drugs. And that, it's like, okay, Moon's in. Hey, there she is. Where's the, where, where's the, where's the, uh, where's this uh, drug test you guys set up for me? Remember the hair follicle test? Where's that, Kathy? Where's this court date, Kathy, you were talking about Joy had to go to? Where's that? Right. Lie after lie after lie after lie you guys tell. Why? Because you're alone. No, wait. Why are you alone? Because you're liars. Your husbands got sick of your shit and they divorced you and they left you. You could have made it better, but you fucked up. You promised to God that you would stay with that man until death do you part. And then you even had kids. You brought other humans into life. God trusted you. God trusted you and gave you children, Gemini, and Moon's End, and Kathy, and you lied to God, and you think he's mad at me? Hell no. I didn't lie to God. I'm still with my wife. No matter what, thick and thin, we could be homeless. We could be starving. We will be together. Always. But truth teller, not you. You're a liar, truth teller, because you promised to God that you would be married. And you lied to God. And that's why you suffer.
No takers, no emails. Just so you know, geniuses, you can send an email to someone. There's not a lot you can do with that. I hope you fight the demons that have hold on you, negative people. Rich, don't waste your breath with these sinners. Thank you. End of times are close. I feel it, man. The end is near. I literally put out a video earlier today. It was an art video. I don't know if you guys saw it. Did you guys see it? See, man, everyone else can do it. I just clicked it right here. It's not dead. It works. If you can't do it, it has something to do with your phone. So either send me the thing. I mean, I just did it. You want me to do it again? <clears throat> okay. Okay, so when I click on it, this is what I get. It says, do I want to allow the stream? And I say, yes, I allow it, okay? And then it brings up the camera, like so. Obviously, you can see yourselves. And then, da, 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 and join. Okay. Okay. okay, so for She-Man and the other liars in the room, Claire the liar, um, remember you can't spell Claire. Can't spell Claire without liar. Here you go. Um, Ava the genius, are you in the room? Help out Moon's End. She's a major hater. I'm sure, I'm sure you know who she is. All you haters stick together. Teach your other hater how to use a link on her phone. Because obviously I did it. And, I, and I'm like, I'm old and stupid. So if I can do it, either, either He-Man or She-Man or Claire or whoever's lying, and then they can't click it. And if they can't click it, well, how, 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 how do we get them so they can't click it? If they're not lying. <laughs> On the off chance they're not lying. Oh, is, is that my big plan, She-Man, is that I'm gonna write you an email and tell you that I've, I've changed? I pretty much say that on on the stream itself. I, I don't think that's a secret. I literally did a, a, a short today, a music video short art piece that literally, do you see how I'm talking literally to myself here? This is great, I'm doing my own guest cam. Podcat, guess what? I was on a stream last night, I think you were on it. Everyone is saying they don't wanna see Annette on the camera no more. They, they wanna see her less. They, they get, they're, they're tired of her doing it. Oh, wait, here comes somebody finally. Who's coming? There you go, baby.
You like the second show better. Yeah, so so they said that on podcast, what they said was, what you guys said, the haters said was that it was, that, that it disturbed you to see Annette. So, because of that, you know, I'm not going to put my sister in, in a situation like that. Yeah, they did. Ava, where are you? Trixie, stop lying. See, I'm so tired of you guys. You haters, you guys say all this shit and then you deny it. You're such, you know, no offense, Trixie, but you're a really bad representative of your hater crew. You guys are such little two-faced liars. You're such little, what do you call them? What do you call them little cowards when they, when, they, when they talk real big when they're in a the little room, but then when you call them out, oh, we never said that. Yeah, you did say that. I literally was, was had a whole I had like a five hour conversation with Ava the G about the shit you were saying. That's where it comes from, right? BB, I saw you. BB was just on a minute ago. It's only clickable for your PC. Okay, well that's not my deal. It's not a dead link. That would be that would be your phone, and that would be your what you're using. How how do, how do I how how am I responsible? For what phone she man is using? How is that now my fault? Right, she man. Everyone else can figure out how to use the link. Why can't you? And that is cared for. Haven't you seen the videos? She's one. She's a thousand times percent better. What you wanted was when. When by the way, when you guys say cared for, what you what you're suggesting is that Net needs to be in a home or a hospital, and you want to put her away from her family because you guys are alone. And you want her to be alone like you. And that sucks that you're so jealous of my sister that she has a family that loves her and a brother that loves her and spends all this time with her that you want us gone and you want Annette in a hospital or an institution and you want Gloria in a home. No, that's what you guys say. I've read your ribs. I went to Randy's room. That's what you guys are exact, exactly saying. And, th and of course, you don't deny it. That's exactly what you've been saying. You were saying you want us gone and Annette should be in a home where she can, you know, or, or in a hospital and, and Gloria should be in a home. And that's not what we're doing here. See, I'm a man who sticks with my family. I made a promise to God no matter what. And I made a promise to my dad that I'll take care of my sister. I made a promise to my mom. No, I made a promise to my... You guys get what I'm saying. <laughs> Dark Uncle, why are you still here? I can't figure it out. I can't figure out why you're here. There's no reason for you to be here. You're nothing but trouble. I'm telling you. I'm sick of it. Absolutely sick of it. Sick of it, sick of it. But, uh, yeah. Hey, yeah. Just send me an email real quick. Shoot me an email or, or send me a telephone number or some way that I can get a hold of you and I'll send you the link directly. You're on an iPad, Moon Zen? Okay, listen. Moon Zen, She Man, Claire, Trixie, Paw Cat. Let, I'm going to bring it down a notch. I, I know we're, you guys are throwing shit at me, and I was throwing shit back at you guys, okay? And that's all good and fun, and it creates, it creates a intense energy in here. But seriously, it, it's it's not healthy for all, any of us, okay? So so we can talk, okay? But but seriously, let's just bring it down a minute. I mean I mean, you guys know that I'm I'm joking. Around. I mean, you guys know that yeah. I mean we're we're bantering, but but it's we're having fun, right? You know it's a joke, okay? And some of you I don't know if you do because you guys do stupid shit like call cops and do stupid stuff, but you know this is for fun, right? It's all about making things better and having good time. And that's how you get better. That's what care is, is watching Annette smile and having fun. By the way, you can just look at Annette. I mean, she's like about 50 pounds heavier than she was back before we got here. Yeah, no worries. Just, yeah, um, send me an email. And, and once they get an email, I'll just send you the link via email. And then hopefully you can click it from your phone.
High on that is fed and, and given meds. She should be better if provided care. She seems fine. I mean, and this, is, this is better. I mean, like you're saying that she's not improving fast enough for you, she man. She has, uh, she, like, look at the progress just in the last six months since March. Go back and look at the videos from March, May, and lots of, tr lots of progress. Oh, everyone's out. They're out. They're out. They're sleeping. No worries. No worries. If you'd like to come on, we can say hi just for fun. Share my greatness. I shall, I shall, I shall, I shall. What's the text? Which text are we talking about now, Moon Zen? It doesn't matter what I say, Moon Zen, because I could literally tell you what it was, and you would say I texted it to myself. So, no, I'm not going to, there's no point in telling you what it is. Thanks for asking, though. Yeah, I'm, I share. I know I share. Every, I share how I feel, and I do what I feel, and I do what thoughts come to my head. But that doesn't mean everything. You you you, you should see the videos I haven't posted. Your your partner usually helps with this stuff. You know, I can send you the email or something if you wanted to email me. The link. It's all good. I just enjoy hanging out with you guys for a few. Before you give me up. All right, that'd be great. I'd, I'd love to meet you. Well, I'd love to test out the technology too. You know, we haven't been, things aren't gonna be perfect overnight. I see you getting better every single day with the net glory and all of you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. It's really easy to come in and like criticize, like, oh, this place looks like shit, but, and I look like shit and everything sucks, but it's also you have to look at how things have, I mean, I have 10 years of documentation, you know, and when you guys call out, like, oh, you're a liar, you're inconsistent, it's like, you guys are getting, the reason why Moon's End, you come in here and, aha, I caught you in a lie, because you, you, there's 10 years of stuff out there, there's 5,000 videos on YouTube alone, 5,000 videos. Now, Depending on when you like you get the clip of the video or whatever you're watching, it, you don't know whether that was 2014 or 2024. I mean, you kind of do because of the hair maybe, <laughs> but for the most part, you don't know. And so you start saying, like, all your stuff is out of chronological. You're like, ah, I caught you in the light. Da, 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 da. It's like, no. When that I said that, we were here. That clip is from that time, and that other thing was from here. Those are two different times. Because people are allowed to change over time, correct? So if I make a statement in 2014, well, I might change my mind in 10 years about that statement. I might have a completely different opinion about that. That doesn't make me a liar, and that's what you guys are trying to say. Like, oh, he said this in 2015, he was like pro-Obama. And then in 2017, he said it sucked at, you know, whatever, blah, blah, blah. It's like, well, he's a flip-flopper. Well, you know, five years go by, if you don't change, then what have you been doing? Life is about change. Life is about growth. So if you just have the same ideas that you've had, you might as well stick with the ideas you had since you were 16. Which some of you have. That is the, you know, 
Come on. Let's be honest, Gemini. You're by yourself. You made a promise to God. You're a Catholic. You said, I'll stay with this man forever. And then you dumped him. Or you let him dump you. You, let them, you, you left him. You lied to God because you wanted money from the guy. Or whatever reason, whatever motivation. It wasn't love, obviously, because you left him. So now you're wondering why God is punishing you. Well, shit. <laughs> I mean, don't come in casting stones at me and my, I mean, my marriage and casting me and how I take care of my family when you can't even take care of your own family. Thank you very much. Oh, uh, the people, well, some of them are quick to judge, but some of them, the, the people that hate us, they really liked us at first. But then they, then they started judging us. And then once they found out more about us, then they started to judge us. Hi, Diane C. Good to see you. Hey, Kate. Listen, Kate, I need your music. Are you, do you still have music? Are you going to send me some music? I know you were going to send me a link, and I'm not sure if I ever got that. There was a lot of emails that was about a month ago. Do you remember that? Because um, I've got an idea, and I need some music. So I think your style might be perfect for that, unless I have you confused with someone else. Oh, sorry, Kate. I, the different Kate then. I can't wait to... There's another Kate that sent me an email that I need... I needed... Damn it. I think maybe it was Kate44. Only God can judge me. Yeah. Well, that's true. I mean, because it's like... Think about it. And and everyone has that in their head. And not only that, but, but you have your own brain. You You know what you had to go through to get where you're at. And so here we are at, at, at age 56. If you, you know, if you don't show up with scars or bruises or a few, a few stories to tell, then what did you do? You, it's like you never, you never left the harbor. You never got on the boat. You just sat, you just sat in the harbor and you're, and you're my age and, and, and you, yeah, you're perfect, but you never went to sea. That's not life. I got in the boat. I left the harbor. Shit, I got out of the fucking boat. You know what I'm saying? I went way out of the boat. Just so you know, don't ever get out of the boat. Stay in the fucking boat. Stay in the boat. I'm sorry. That's a different K, but I hope you get it. Yeah, it's not a K for it. Yeah, that's okay. I was really hopeful because I I, I I seen you pop up on the message boards, but I but I but I but I haven't seen you in the rooms in, in a minute. And so when I just saw you, I was like, oh yay! But then I didn't get a chance. To, now I find out it wasn't you, anyways. But that's okay. Eminem, be smart, not a retard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to try to rhyme something, but it just didn't come to me. We need a bigger boat. Exactly. We need a bigger boat. We, what we need to do is, is we need to get the boat to find the island or where we're going. And then... If, I don't talk a lot. That's okay. I don't talk a lot either. Except when I come on these streams. Because I know what it's like to be isolated. I know what it's like to live alone. I feel your pain, you guys. I do. So when I yell at you guys, I'm trying to get your attention. It's not because I hate you. It's because I love you. I do. I love you. I'm not kidding. I don't want you to suffer anymore. I know you're hurting because you're alone. I lived alone for years. Isolation. It was. It was. It wasn't. And it wasn't like a metaphorical isolation. It was a real isolation. It was like ten years. Okay, maybe like five years. I haven't really done the math on it, but it's kind of on and off. But we had to spend years by yourself in isolation, and it's really, really sad. But for the most part, even when I was around other people or if I got, you know, I was in more social situations, I was still very isolated.
You know what? There's a lot of people, if you, cheese whiz, that, that's a very offensive people thing to say because a lot of people had kids that shouldn't have had them. And you know that they're in this room. So please, please try not to be so, so vicious. There's, I mean, I know. I'm with my family 24 seven. I pay all their bills. I take care of them. I hang out with my sister and my wife and my mom all day. Make sure her TV, if she has any questions about TV, anything. You know, I drive her, drive her to the club if she needs it. Whatever she needs to do, pay out, make sure she can go to the club. When we got here, she wasn't even allowed in the club. They kicked her out because she wasn't paying the bills. I had, we had to go talk to the HOA to make sure that she get back in the club. I know, thank you so much for noticing how well I treat my family. Let me ask you, let me ask you this. Do, do, are you taking care of your, your, your parents or your mom and dad? Are you, are you, when was the last time you, you spent like a weekend with your parents? Never alone. When was the last time you, you, you spent a weekend with your parents? I'm just curious. Because it sounds like, like you get what I'm saying. It's important. I, I need to, it's not like, it's hard to find people like you and me who, who value family over money. Most people think it's more important to go out and make money. Like 90% of people in here that criticize me, go get a job. Really? Go out there and get a job and just leave my family. Oh, okay, yeah, I did that before. Everyone's done that. I'm doing something a little different. I'm sticking with my family and I'm staying with them because I don't know how much time they have left. I don't know how much time I have left. But all I know is by me being here, everyone's happier. Everyone's better. The bills are paid. I mean, forget about the financial stuff, but yeah, all the finances, which helps in you know, people's positivity. So all this stuff goes on and on and on and on. Oh, really? So you're with your parents right now? Right, that's a lie. You know what? You know what? Never alone, you see, you have to lie. You see, I, I've spent more time with my family than, than you have with yours. Right. No one's asked for money here. People donate on YouTube all day long. You got a problem with the way YouTube works? Talk to YouTube. What do you think the super stickers are for? But you know what? You're a liar. Because you're not with your family, and I am. And it makes you so mad, and you're trying to find any way you can smear me. No one's begging for money here. I'm getting paid by Google. Whether, whether, whether you donate money or not, doesn't matter. I haven't even mentioned it. There's not even a tip jar. There's nothing around here. That's that other room. That's Randy's room. You go in there, you see Cash App flying everywhere. She's the one begging for money. Right. I don't need your money. It's nice when you guys donate. Shows you support the channel. But I'm not in here begging for money. So, unfortunately, yeah. So, like, like what happens is this person here is so alone. They literally have to write never alone. That's how I know that they're alone. It's kind of like Truth Teller. I know she's a liar because she, people that put truth in their name, it's kind of like, it's like, they're, they're, con, they're, they're like Slim Shady, you know, they're, they're basically trying to tell you something, you know, they're, they're like, hey, I'm the truth teller. Well, I would assume you tell the truth. I mean, my assumption is, is everyone tells the truth. That's, that's what you do when you meet someone. A person who says, I'm telling you the truth before you even meet them, it's basically like, like, you know, like, okay, I'm taking a shower, you know, my friend's in the bedroom, and I come out of the bedroom, and they say, and, and I say, hey, what's up? And they're like, I didn't go through your diary. I really think they must have gone through my diary, right? It's like, well, why would they say that? And so they're the truth teller. Like, like, oh, I'm the truth teller. Well, why would you say that? Because you're a liar. <clears throat> yeah, it's unfortunate that, 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 that you can't even, you know, here's the thing, never alone. You're, you're, you're lying. <laughs> I've already caught you in two lies and now you're suffering and and that's why you're here because you see me happy hey out of all you guys here I'm the only besides my supporters but all the haters out of Kathy never alone truth teller all the haters cheese whiz I'm the only one that stayed married I'm the only one that stayed with my wife all you guys your husband left you 
Because you didn't marry him for love. You married him for what he could provide for you. Now you're coming in and telling me how I should run my relationship. You're telling me I should go get a job. You know, that's what Joy wants. Really? No, that's what you want. That's what you want in a husband. That's why you don't have a husband. That's why you're on your second and third. Yeah. And that's why your kids are so messed up. And that's why your families are getting sicker and sicker, and sicker like Gemini's family. Just sicker and sicker and sicker every day. She can't figure it out. She can't figure it out that every day she comes in and hates on, on us, especially in the month of October, is like sevenfold negativity back on her. She hasn't seen it. And her hate gets converted into positivity for us. Because all that's happened is my life has just gotten better. Look at my stream. Look how much cooler it looks. Everything is getting better. <laughs> And I'm happier and happier. And my hair is getting longer. <laughs> Cheese Whiz. Wow. Making fun of our appearances now. That's clever. Gosh. That was 2016. We haven't seen that since 2016. Where you just like bash on someone where they look or, or their physical appearance. That's sweet. That's clever. Yeah, they kind of stopped that because, you know, they consider most of that hate speech. But go ahead. You found a clever way to kind of sneak it in there. Because all that tells me is that you are a racist, misogynistic person that, judge, you know, it's like those are the things that, it's like you just the, disclose yourself. Once you start attacking, and the only argument you have against me it, or, or my wife is, is, is our physical appearance, and you start making fun of our physical appearance, that it's just, you're just, now, now you're just at another level. I mean, it's just like, it's obvious. You're, you're, you're borderline hate speech here. Because, because you can't hate someone because of the way they look. And, and not a, a normal person, a good person would never, never criticize someone's features, especially if they thought, oh, gosh, that, 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 look, you know, their teeth look really bad. A, a good person wouldn't come in and say, your teeth look terrible. Uh, like that's not what a good person does, and God knows that. And so you're a real person. You're not. A, you're not a bot, right? You're a real person, and I know you're real because as I respond, I can feel you getting upset and triggering. You are sinning against God when you come in and you do what you do. There's no reason for you to bash my parents. There's no reason for you to bash my wife's appearance. There's really no reason for you to bash it us at all. But those are very specific things that point out something about you. Just like with Gemini, when she called me the F word, she, she thought I was a homosexual. So she, she texted me some nasty stuff that was really, really bad. And, and I found out a lot about her. Just like uh, Jared, Melinda Sue's little friend there. Those two are also homophobes. And it makes sense why Melinda, you know, Melinda's so obese because, well, she's, she's only 25. By the time she's 35, if she does not change her ways, when I, I mean, not, not just her diet, I'm talking about her negativity that is causing her sickness. I can see her physical sickness. Obesity is something where you don't have to ask a person what they've been doing or if they're having any problems. Obesity is something you can physically see. The universe says, look, they're asking for help. That's why, that's why they're so big. I mean, nobody wants to be obese. That's, that's, that's insane. It's like saying people want to have cancer. <laughs> that's, no, you have cancer and you deal with it and you take your medication or you, you deal with what you have to do with it, but nobody wants cancer. And if you had a cure for it, you would take it, right? Well, we have the cure for obesity and it is you have to give up something you really love. Right. So you have to sacrifice something in order for your health. And the problem is, a lot of these people here aren't used to sacrifice. Joy? Shit, she sacrificed her whole life. Me? Shit, I spent 15 years sacrificing my life. You, have no, you guys don't even know my story. I haven't even told it. You just know what I posted on, on YouTube and like, you know, what you've seen in the New York Times. That's all you know. But you don't know the 15 years of my discipline. But that's why I get to do what I do. And that's why I'm where I'm at. And that's why I feel good. And that's why I'm happy. And that's why I have a successful marriage. 
and have a family here where we're all together. Whereas never alone, you're on your second marriage already. You can lie and say you're not, but we all know you are. That's why you literally wrote never alone. Because this time you didn't want to be left alone. Because obviously at some point you were neglected, either by your parents or your family, probably your family. Because you're criticizing my family, for, and all I do is spend time with them. And you think I should leave and go be somewhere else, just like your family did for you. Hey man, look, I, I have a link out there. See all these, all these, all these brave little cowards down there, all those haters. There's a link right here. All you have to do is just, just click the link, and boom, you're here. And none of them are taking it. They'll type all day long their lies. You guys can read it, by the way. As you point out, I have very few people that watch the live stream. There's like 50 people that are going to read your comments. But then they're going to watch the stream later, and I'm going to turn off the comments. So all they're going to hear is my voice. <laughs> you didn't know I've been doing that for the last six months? Yeah, so then when you go watch the things, like all the stuff you guys write, all the lies you write, no one needs to see that. I know you hate that. I know you I, I, You hate that you don't have a family that is around you. Now, you could say, Melinda is very obese. You can see it. She, she, well, anytime you're, she's, 20, she's about 25 years old, and she's, uh, well, look at her photos. And this is not talking about someone's appearance. This is talking about someone's health. Very big difference. Because obesity is something that we can correct. This is what this whole channel is about. I was obese. Last year I was obese. And that's, that's why people came here. But then when they found out what they had to do to not be obese, they started hating on me. Because it's like they can't have me walking the earth doing something they can't do. Melinda Sue can't do what Joy does. What Joy does is she lives a very restricted you know, she sacrifices things. She sacrifices things for her health. I sacrifice things for my health. If you don't do that, then you're going to be obese. Yeah, you can call your mom right now. Exactly. You know what I can do? I can go touch my mom. And I, and I, I can have breakfast with her in the morning. And I know exactly what she's going to make. And I can make sure she has everything she needs. Everyone can call their mom. Just so you know, 60 years ago, that was very, very rare to call your mom long distance. Most people would stay, be visiting their mom. A hundred years ago, that was impossible to call your mom if you didn't live in the same town. So people didn't leave town unless they didn't ever want to be around their parents. So the fact that you're not around your family means that you are not taking care of your family. And you're jealous of me because I am. And you can't stand it because I'm doing something that you can't do. You could do it. You could do it. But you refuse to sacrifice. What do you refuse to sacrifice? Your love is life lifestyle with whatever you got going on with your man and your, your new man and your kids. You don't want to burden yourself by being around your mom and dad who need you, by the way. Or they don't like you and they don't want you around. One of the two. But that's why you guys aren't together. You can say whatever you want. Call them. Talk for 10 minutes once a week. That's, I mean, I talk to my stockbroker more than that. So don't, don't come in and judge my family and my relationships and the way I take care of my family and think that you're somehow better than me because you're not. You're not, you, you have to, you literally have to call your mom. Call her right now, 2 a.m. See if she even picks up. She could be sick. She could be hacking. There's all sorts of things going on. Both of them could be tied up hostages. You wouldn't know and you call them, they don't pick up the phone. You have no idea. Me? I know exactly what's going on with my mom and my sister and they like it and they don't mind hearing my voice. They like hearing a voice because they know people around. They don't want an empty, desolate house like you guys have. Someone said, oh, I can never sleep in there. Great, go move into a library. Oh, I hate the noise and that. Right, that's why you live alone. That's why your husband left you. And now you come and bash on me and my wife because we're together and we're happily married. And you can't stand it because we did something you can't do. We made a vow to God, we promised to God that we'd stay together and we kept it. And you can't do that, truth teller. You, you failed at that. And worse, you had children. And then you come in and say, oh, I'm glad you guys don't have children. <laughs> well, maybe you might be, you know, it's like, what if that was what God was saying to you, but it was too late? 
Right, exactly. Your 82-year-old father is still working and making money? He hates his family. No 82-year-old wants to be away from his family. My mom loves hanging out here at the club. She loves hanging out with her daughter and, her, and me and, and her dad. We do fun stuff. She went dancing last week. Your husband avoids his family, goes to work. You know, your husband, your father, your father, like, like he hates his family. Look, you can't convince me that because a guy goes to work and spends 80 hours a week away from his family, that somehow he's a good man. I'm guessing the kind of work your dad does at 82, your dad probably has a really cush job. I don't think he's serving drinks at a bar. I don't think he's serving cocktails. I don't think he's running around in a fire ambulance. I'm guessing it's a pretty cush, lax job. Well, that works out great for him because he likes it there. Because he gets to hang out with his secretaries and all the people he's working with. <laughs> he doesn't have to hang out with you, truth teller. His daughter that he can't stand. Just like your husband can't stand you. Just like your kids can't stand you. Just like Never Alone's parents can't stand her. And then you come in and criticize me for being around my family and being too loud because it might wake them up. Right. Because they don't care. They're asleep. We're used to it. We're a family. You guys are used to sleeping in a museum because everyone left you. Including dad, who is still at 82, avoiding his family. And truth though, that's why you hate Joy so much. Because she did the exact opposite. She wasn't going to let me do that. And you can call me late, call me whatever you want. But, but just because your father avoids his family 24-7 and does everything he spends maybe Christmas with you and that's it, that doesn't mean he loves you. In fact, that means he's avoiding you. The fact that I spend time with my family 24-7 and I take care of them, not only does it show in the way everything's just getting better and better and better, and our channel's getting better, and everything's getting better, and my life's getting better, my health's getting better. But it shows in our love. You guys can sense it. You guys feel it. Meanwhile, you see Truth Teller come in here, and all she does is bitch and complain and say all this weird shit. You know what she was saying last week? She was saying, and now this told me something about her dad. This is, might be what happens in her family. But Truth Teller, and I called it out. She got so mad when I suggested this. Let's, let's back up. I, I suggested the way she sounds is like a pedophile. She freaked out. She freaked out. I said, well, the way you're talking is a pedophile. And that was like a month ago. And that was our big interaction. She had a big thing. She went out and telling everybody that I called her a pedophile. I never called her. I said, what you're saying that sounds just like a pedophile. Now you're telling me your dad avoids his kids and avoids his family. Okay. Two weeks ago, you told me what you thought was happening in our household, which is crazy talk. But now it makes sense because it was probably happening in your household. You said the mom was having sex with the daughter. Now, I don't know what happened with you, truth teller, but dad stays away from you because why? Because he's not allowed to be around you. Your dad, right. So somehow, how did I know that? Right. So you want to make fun of me being a Jedi? How did I know your dad was a pedophile? I said it. A month ago, casually to you, because you were raised by a pedophile and, and you talk in those terms. And I heard it and I said it and it triggered you because you knew it was true. And then you kept coming back, coming back, coming back. And then you literally called my mom a pedophile, which everyone said was insane. And then you backed down and you, you haven't said it since. But I haven't forgotten it because I put it all together. Now that you tell me your dad avoids his kids, avoids his family, 82 years old, goes to a job? That means he's not allowed, he doesn't want to be around you. He's got some demons. He's hiding from life. Because no man, no woman, needs to be at a job at age 82. What they need to be doing is preparing for death, preparing to meet God, not preparing their financials for their firm. That should be handled by somebody else when they're 82 years old. But if he's doing that, it's because he's avoiding the truth. And the truth is, your dad has, has some serious demons, truth teller. And I, I see why you want to be a truth teller. I see why you're on this mission to, to, to bash me and, and you project all this stuff that's all wrong. Because it's your own family, truth teller. It's your own family. Stop focusing on my family, babe. 
there's something wrong with a dad at age 82 that you're making go to work every single day. If you're not making him, why is he going to work? One reason only. He's avoiding reality. He's avoiding you. He doesn't want to deal with his demons because if he sits too long by himself, guess what? He remembers what he did to you. Or maybe if he didn't do it to you, he did it to your siblings. But something happened because I said that word and it triggered you. And everybody heard it and you've been on a rampage until you dropped it. And then you started calling my mom that. And that's crazy talk as you guys know. So, but what would make more sense is that Truth Teller was projecting what happened in her family onto mine because that's what happens. And that's what we do psychologically. So, Truth Teller, I pray for you every day. I do. I, I hope you find, find some happiness somehow. But, but don't be like your dad. Your dad is being hateful all the way to the grave. All the way to the grave. He's 82 years old and he's avoiding life. That is, not what, that is not a model you want to go after, guys. What you want to do is want to do what I did, is you work really hard for like 20 years and make enough money that you don't have to work for 10 years. And then, well, <laughs> I was hoping to be able to have a channel that would be kicking off and be making some money. Now, it's not making as much as I thought it would, but it's making enough. But, 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 but you know what? Hey, I, I'm not perfect. I, I, I miscalculated, you know what I mean? It's like I made some mistakes. I wish I would have done things differently so that... That, yeah, so when I you know, had that money on that 10 years, that right now, this would be making more money than it does. But that's just me criticizing myself. It is making money. It's not making as much money as I want, but shit, I can't tell you a time that I've ever done anything <laughs> that, well, okay, for a minute, I was like, damn, that's a lot of money. <laughs> but then it was like, man, after, it wears off real quick, and you're like, I want more of that. So, but for the most part, I can tell you that, um, you know, well, I guess there's a number I would have been happy with. Okay, whatever. I, you know, it's like, it's like I could have done a little bit better, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> hey, what's up, Greg Davis, man? What's up? Yeah, I know. It's like, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's like, it's like you stay on here long enough, and it's true, that the truth will eventually surface. Like, all these people are saying all this shit about me, calling me a drug addict, da 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 and it's finding out that, they're the drug addicts calling me this weird sexual guy. Whoa, your dad's the weird sexual guy, not my, not me. Whoa, it's like all this stuff they're projecting on me is about them. So, yeah, some people, truth teller, like someone said before, shouldn't have had kids. <laughs>